Topic A. I am your host, Ann Gownley, and I'm joined by David Yonkai. It's been a while since you've been up here. You never know what's going to happen you when you open up that front door, I'll <laughs> tell you, you definitely. You, you never do, but it's it's, all, it's wonderful to have you back, um, especially on a day like this. And unfortunately, uh, across America and across the world, those are remembering uh, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States. It's a, it's a day that will live forever. Um, it's another piece of history that you know children will learn about for years and years. And I know when we think about significant days uh, that happen in the United States and significant events, there's always that first question: Where were you when that happened? And that's what I want to ask you uh, first and foremost: Where were you? Well, first off, I'm glad that you invited me to be on this program and i want to make clear that i'm not speaking for myself here today right. and i'm not speaking for the lulac political letter but i'm speaking for people of my age of my generation who probably have very similar thoughts and very similar experiences about where they were this week i've had so many conversations with people my age who would tell me that you know i remember what my teacher said i remember what dress my mom was wearing when i came home i remember you know what they said in my church that mm -hmm. sunday but where i was was i was in the fourth grade at saint john the baptist school in pittston and the interesting thing was our nun didn't tell us what was happening. Our class, okay. uh, we, we were in the classroom and at about like maybe 2.20, somebody came in and whispered in her ear and she didn't say anything and we got on the bus and the mother superior of the class of the of the, um, of the school came on the bus and um, said, "You know what happened. You know what happened." And of course, our class didn't know what happened. And of course, when we turned around to the older person and said, "Hey, what happened?" They basically said, "You know what happened, right?" So we had no idea. So they started saying the rosary on the bus, and it wasn't until after we got off the bus that we were told that the president had been killed. And that that you're speaking generations like that, and we're speaking about John F. Kennedy. But what you just said, you know, you're, the nun didn't tell you. That's completely different from nowadays. I remember on September 11th being told immediately right. what happened. Um, I, I don't know if what what the difference is with them, but we were told immediately. So something like that is memorable as well. Well, years later, I had the opportunity to meet her again, and her name was Sister Apollonia. And I ran into her, and I, I, and by that time I was like uh, probably a senior, senior in high school or maybe in college. And I said, "Why didn't you tell us?" Mm -hmm. And she said, "I didn't know how." Yeah. And there were a lot of people who on that day didn't even know how to express well, this type of thing. Fourth grade as well, right. exactly. And you know, we were looking at generations here, and the generation of people who were. Uh, not alive when Kennedy was um, assassinated. To those people, Kennedy's frozen in time. Mm -hmm. He basically is like this icon, and he's never going to age. Kind of like, kind of like Marilyn Monroe. You know, you're always going to see photos of her. You know, at that age, and other people. You know, they've aged. Um, my generation, we were the TV generation. We were the people who grew up with television. So we saw on TV. Uh, our heroes, our uh, our um, our movie stars get killed in movies, but you know the next week we saw them on the cover of TV Guide again. But this was like when he became president, he was on TV, and then the next time we saw this bad thing happen, it was his assassination, and it was very tough to deal with because the whole thing was live. Never mm -hmm. in, never has TV done anything live that went continuation from one day to the other. Right, and something else I, I wanted to bring up is that a lot of people have said from that day and, and throughout his entire presidency that he is you know a model to look at, look at. Uh, throughout the years. I know people have said that to me, this is a president. What, so what do you remember about his presidency when it comes to that? Well, I mean, you might have a different of opinion on that. I'm not LA, so I'm not gonna argue with well, you know that, but um, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people have said that. Uh, you know, there's there's posts all over Facebook saying, you know, this was a president who, and this is why it was so sad for the country when it comes to that. Well, you see, what happened to him was that his killing actually immortalized him as this very great president. But the truth of the matter was, he had a very struggling presidency. Mm -hmm. He right. had a triumph with the Bay of Pigs, but when he made that trip to Dallas, it was a very tough trip for him to make because earlier in the year, he had come 
before the American people and address them on civil rights. And he took a very strong stand on mm-hmm. civil rights, which at that time in the country was very, very, um, was very uh, divisive. And the other part of that component is that the people who wanted him to take a strong stand on civil rights, like um, black people and Latino, they feel that he didn't do enough. Right. So he, people will say it was unfulfilled promise what he did legislatively. The people who are posting things on Facebook and saying that he was the model, I think that he was the model of what we have in our minds of what a president should, should be. be. That's you exactly know? what I was going yeah, with when I was exactly. asking you, because obviously I wasn't around for that, but there are people in, in my generation and younger generations who look at that and study it in the history books, and that's what that's all they know. Right, exactly. And the thing is, as I said, that whole time is frozen in time, so mm-hmm. we don't see him get old, and we don't see some of the medical health problems. I mean, on the day that what he got killed. What could have happened if he wasn't killed? What could right, have happened Exactly. After? And I mean, on the day that he got killed, I mean, he had a back brace on, and he had Addison's digger disease, and he had a whole plethora of health problems that, because of the way the news media handled things at the time, wasn't really covered. So it's a different type of thing, yeah. All right, okay. we'll have more with Dave Yonkai when we come back. But coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic will be back with the seven-day forecast. And like I tell you, every time get those lottery numbers, he has the Pennsylvania lottery numbers. Stay here. It's Topic A only on WYLN.